Well, I guess the best way to do it is just record, and if it doesn't work, I'll do it again. Um, yeah, because I may have to record again. I'm listening to some, uh, listening to a live stream, but the person's been going for four hours, so I don't know how long this. It's the first time I've ever listened to this um, this techno channel, so I'm not sure if um, how long they're going to go, but. Um, it's good. Uh, so far, I don't think he's going to screw with me. I've been listening to it for quite some time now and um, shouldn't mess with my head in the sense that he's been fairly consistent with uh, the way he's going with the tech now. So, ironically, it's a German uh, industrial heavy techno. So, well, it's kind of maybe good then because I'm talking about the Ottomans. They're going to help them out. Not as much as I think, and I'm starting to clue in reading that book, Order to Die, um, especially the preface. Um, like Corvinus Wargaming said, and it's going to be partially with this, uh, due to the fact that I'm still learning about the, uh, the Ottoman Empire and the Turks. Uh, so this is, I have to f figure them out. However, I'm so flipping glad that Corvinus Wargaming mentioned the fact that... Um, many of the young Turks had Balkan uh, connections and well f for example uh, Enver Pasha like lamented the fact that um, part of his uh, place sweet Jesus jump and wait to see what I mean uh, part of his area got taken over by um, uh, the Bulgarians oh okay so here we go um, yeah, so far, it's my mind. It's not the music that's doing it. But so, like I said, I'm, I've, I've uh, popped in some cores for each uh, Army HQ, but it's like welcome to having to deal with the reality of this um, this geography and, and uh, just a god-awful infrastructure that they have. Yeah, I've got some rail here, but it ain't connected to anything else. Uh, it's just like, Jesus. So I have to, and this is an important spot, so is this. So I ended up having to use two out of my three cores for my second army, which sucks a hind tit. But there's not much I can do, so I'll just have to bring the, the second army down to, towards, from Damascus towards J Jerusalem, bring the sixth towards Gat. I'm just going to do that anyways. I'm just trying not to telegraph it too much for the British, for Christ's sakes. Remember, they're going to try to do an amphibious line. Oh my god. You should, uh, there's a, uh, I'm so glad he has it as part of a wrinkle in the rules. It's called a faint landing. So I can do the, I gotta spend all the points, do the whole nine yards. I can land here for a whole turn and then get the hell out just before they go to make a combat. You get the idea? It means they, they, they go towards there and then I can do something else. Oh man, that'd be nice. But remember, the British troops that were going to go to Gallipoli. I'm not doing a Gallipoli because that's the way my, I just was like, no, I'd rather go this way. Um, so, you know, call it flipping or whatever. Those uh, Anzac troops are, you know, not going to die on the sands of Gallipoli and, you know, on the shore of Gallipoli. Gallipoli they're going to die here. It's just the way it is. Um, so, also about, uh, like I was saying, it's, I was like trying to connect the dots about what the hell am I going to do here about, like why in the world are the Turks uh, doing what they're doing? Well, I mean, the Brits over there, we well, can't really see it, but the Brits obviously over in Mesopotamia, they got to deal with that. They signed this uh, non-aggression pact with the Russians, fantastic. So guess what they're gonna, they've been doing? It's uh, a few other people know about it, or actually only one other person knows about it. Um, and I rolled for everybody else in my, um, uh, um, what am I calling it? Neutral Nation uh, Interactive. Um, those people, I rolled for them, everybody failed about the intrigues and you know, like whether or not their spies, diplomats found out. Anyways, here we go. So the Ottomans have approached the Russians on a very ultra, what do you think of this level? Okay, do you get the idea? Um, so the Ottomans have talked to the Russians and talked to the Romanians and said, hey, by the way, would you like to try and set up a little uh, Black Sea alliance and all three of us can kick the shit out of Bulgaria? 
Sorry, uh, Clark Commando 1983, but uh, you just found out what your neighbors want to do to you. Um, and I know that Russia wants to have a direct sea route from the Black Sea to the Mediterranean. Obviously, the only way to do that is through the dark. It ain't going to happen. Um, but on a side note, it's like, hey, man, if we take over, if we uh, kick the crap out of Bulgaria, we'll give you... Um, Oh, darn it. I've got it listed over there, but it's one of the uh, port cities. We'll give you that chunk and there's some sweet ass rail. You can just use that. You'll just have to connect the dots. In other words, you bring your ships into the Mediterranean to the Bulgarian or former Bulgarian port, convert them to rail, bring them up to the rail to the Black Sea and away we go. That's the way I'm trying to sweetheart uh, the Russians. Um, because that way the young Turks can get their um, Balkan land back. See what I'm saying? Now, how the hell am I going to bring William Harris into this uh, mix? I'm shocked. I'm so happy. William Harris, you, you want, you were like, hey, man, how can I uh, get more into this? Um, the reason why I haven't really been approaching Greece all that much is due to the fact that you, your country, historically, from what I know, is very divided. Well, kind of like Romania, but you're very proactively divided because you're dealing with, like you're already invading uh, southern Albania, um, northern whatever the hell you guys call it, northern Epirus I think is what you guys call it, um, that type of stuff and then Italy sent over some troops, um, darn it, um, starts with a V, darn it, um, anyways, um, sent it there and that's why the Brits were like get the hell out of there so we can go in there but that ain't ha happening because now they're doing the amphibious potential amphibious landing uh, from here over to there and going in around there just makes sense um, that's it uh, like I've set up my cores I'm gonna pop another core uh, put a, pop the core over here like I said I know the Brits know but it doesn't matter they're going towards that way anyways pop a core there and then I'm gonna bring the second army down obviously from uh, Damascus to Jerusalem and then I'll send the core from Jerusalem to Gaza and away we go. We'll see what happens. Um, and that's like, a, oh my God, like I mentioned before, it's, there's a lot of Turkish forces. I just can't, you know, it's just, it's so bizarre. I was, uh, I just, I chuckled or I had a good, I actually I had a, almost like a belly laugh for myself because I was looking at this these maps and I was like oh my god I so wish I could like the luxury of being on the Eastern Front and I was like oh my god people who play the Western Front and the, and the Eastern Front would be like it's like you're looking at the Eastern Front like it's a gold mine of opportunity and then of course compared to the Western Front it's not you know that's like an other order of magnitude due to the fact that you got so many more people uh, to push around like play around with and supply it's just nuts and it's such a tiny little area you can do some funky weird things yes I understand it's like jammed like you know fish and uh whatever but tough um yeah yeah I, pardon me it's like you know what I'm gonna go uh, free form free range with this type of stuff again close to the end of the uh game and I know it's gonna be ramp tough uh well I'm not trying to be tough as in like I just gotta go with what I'm going with um Yeah, I'll have to figure out Gre Greece. Look, you got, and we found this out uh, from the headlines and whatnot, the war summary over the past few weeks, that uh, the Greeks, have, uh, sorry, the Germans were using a lot of the Greek islands. Obviously, the Greeks can't, like, do everything, like, patrol everything. And they were, like, you know, setting up little secret sub bases. So maybe I'll try to figure out some way of um, just, I, I just assume Greece is like a chatterbox. That's the problem. So, and okay, and like I was saying about uh, William Marys, you're talking about it being a, a role-playing game type of thing. Yeah, talk amongst yourselves. If you guys want to set up some kind of crazy-ass secret agreement, go for it. Uh, I can't do anything about that in the sense I will just play it out. Uh, you know, I, I'm the military, whatever, so I'll try to figure out how to do your crazy-ass whatevers. Um, that's it. Um, and I'll keep trying to present stuff uh, the way, you know, I'll try to anyways. Um, 
gosh almighty, this has just been, um, yeah, you're right, William Aarons, man, I'm just, um, well, this is all I do, really. <laughs> Everything else is like, oh shoot, yeah, I gotta do stuff like, oh, you would, you don't, I don't want to get into it. Other people know how, um, <laughs> delinquent I am with my, uh, like, normal human activities. So, I do bathe. Like, I don't, I'm not going down that crazy road. <laughs> I'm just bringing that up because I'm about to go to to a convention and that's you know as a lot of people know it's one of those little um I don't know what you call it little secret or uh, jokes or hidden I don't know whatever I'm just want my mind's going to my own minute and that uh, stupid techno is starting to chat away silly man don't do that all right that's it yeah that's just getting crazy okay hope you're having fun